I've, I've worked for, uh, for many years in the UK uh, evaluating employment programs, particularly those uh, put in place by government. And it's so worthwhile and rewarding to see results from that at an individual level or, or, or larger numbers too, when people fulfill their own aspirations. When I, do, I do a job I love and I feel lucky and when people can get a job they love too or any job just to start them on the process uh, on, on the employment ladder then I think that's a great reward. The work package 5 is active citizenship and labour market participation. Uh, the idea is that part of active citizenship, one of the perhaps principal ways in which active citizenship can be achieved, is through participation in the labour market. Now there are lots of other ways in which people can make a valid contribution to society through caring work for example or through unpaid labour but it still remains the aspiration of many people to enter and continue in the labour market regardless of their abilities or capabilities whether that's affected by family responsibilities or by disabilities. I think the thing about this work package is I think there is a real need to do something different. I've mentioned that the statistics we have on the employment of disabled people are extremely disappointing. In fact, they look quite bleak. Uh, and I think it would be so exciting to think we can make a real difference, something new. I haven't got the answer yet. Maybe it's not there. Maybe global economic forces just weigh down and overpower us. But I don't think, that, again, that's a reason for defeatism. We need to have new thinking. And that can come from everywhere, from people like me working as researchers, but particularly from people with disabilities themselves. You know, the, the, you know, the knowledge, the experience lies there, and perhaps the solutions lie there too. At the moment, we talk a lot about um, passive citizenship, which refers to things happening to people, other people making decisions for certain groups in society. And I think over many years that's applied particularly to disabled people, people with disabilities. So maybe we can redirect thinking now using the experiences and views and ideas of people with disabilities themselves to come up with, again, their solutions. What can they contribute? Perhaps there's a greater role for uh, people with disabilities as employers, as entrepreneurs. There is some push within European policy to, to encourage disabled people, people with disabilities, to become entrepreneurs uh, and self-employed. Maybe this is a direction which is yet uh, underexploited, underexplored. I think we can, we can perhaps say something useful there. At the moment, we have a lot of statistics that show that people with disabilities are highly disadvantaged in the labour market. The employment rates of people with disabilities across Europe, across the world, are much, much lower than people who have no disabilities. And within people with disabilities, within that group, some people are disadvantaged even more. People with mental health problems, people with psychosocial disabilities. So the aim of the whole project, and the work package in particular, is to find ways to come up with new ideas, new programs, new strategies of enhancing people's possibilities within the labour market. It's proved almost an intractable problem over perhaps 15, 20, maybe even 30 years. But if we take a fresh look at it uh, across many countries, hopefully we will be able to come up with something which will help people fulfil their ambitions and their aspirations within the labour market. There's an optimistic part of me which thinks maybe in three years' time we will made a difference. There's also a realistic part of me that, uh, born of years of experience as a researcher, where you cannot expect change instantly. Sometimes just changing the terms of the debate is something that's so valuable, but will only bear fruit in 10 years' time. But on concrete measures, hopefully we will be able to make recommendations at uh, the levels of governance we're interested in, which is international, European, national and regional and local. Perhaps we can make recommendations that others can take forward and translate into real policies, real programmes that are appropriate for their country. There is not one solution for every country. So I think if, if we can start a process, uh, perhaps we will see, perhaps not in three years time, but perhaps five, certainly in 10, we would hope to see a change. But the real prize is to see the changes in those employment rates. So that they, the rates for people with disabilities creep up or maybe even rush towards the rates that are achieved by people without disabilities.
we have to take account of the fact that many countries in Europe and the world are experiencing severe economic recession. So what we can suggest has to take account of that. But I don't think that's a reason to be defeatist. Uh, in fact, it's a reason to be perhaps more imaginative, more creative than people have been in the past. The challenges are greater now, but the, the prize is possibly even greater too.